Hello, everyone. This is Tom Painter again, and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us. We have people from all over the world that's joining us on our second segment with Mr. Brandon Barnum. He is the author of Raving Referrals. Now, I can tell you this is a way that you're going to build your business. Most of you are going to spend marketing and media money to get that initial group of people. But the crucial part is once you have those people, then you need to do the Walt Disney formula. Do what you do so well that people will come back again and again, and they will tell their friends, and they'll bring their friends. Not just tell them, but bring them. And then when you bring them, your goal is to give them a wonderful experience so that they will tell their friends. That's how it works. Compound interest is no different than compounding a business. It's the same strategies that you use for money as you do for building a business. So I'm going to introduce uh, Brandon on our next segment, which is the art of the ask. And again, in the last segment, I talked briefly about Jeffrey Katzenberg. Jeffrey Katzenberg from DreamWorks, he and, and Spielberg have done these wonderful, wonderful movies uh, for, for like Gladiator and all these great, great movies. But he has a thing called uh, a thank and ask, thank and ask and connect, connect, connect. And so he literally has on his, on his desk hundreds of three by five cards with somebody's name on it. And he knows the things that they're looking for that he wants to connect them for. And a lot of that stuff is not stuff that he's not even connected with. He just knows that another studio is looking for him or there's another opportunity, but he wants to be that connector to connect them together. He wants to help people have a better life. Thank him for the things that they're doing. Thank him for helping him and then connect them with better opportunities. And then when he has a project that he needs help with, he simply asks and what do they do? They reciprocate and they come back and help him. So I'm going to turn the time over to my friend, Mr. Brandon Barnum, who's going to talk about the art of the ask. Oh, thank you, Tom. I love it. I love it. And guys, listen, the reality is the more you ask, the more, and this is Mark Victor Hansen, right? What he teaches is the more you A-S-K, the more you G-E-T. The more you ask, the more you get. And it's so true. The reality is anything is possible if you dare to ask, right? Everything that you are looking for is out there and available to you if you just ask. First, you need to understand your lifetime client value to understand the value of what clients are really there for. So I just wanna help you think about the way that you serve clients based on the value that they make to your business. And this is so important when it comes to marketing, right? Number one, how much do you earn per transaction? What does a customer represent to you? Number two, how many transactions will they do with you on average? And then number three, when you multiply those numbers, you can determine that lifetime client value, but there is a third variable and that's the number of referrals that they send you on average, right? So when you multiply those three numbers, the amount of each transaction, how many transactions they'll do with you and how many referrals they'll give you, that's when you determine your lifetime client value. So take some time after this course and think through that to, uh, for your business. But there's really three steps to asking clients for referrals. So right now we're gonna talk about your existing clients. When you're out there serving people for your business, and you're looking to attract more clients from them, the first thing you wanna do is set the stage, set the stage. Second thing is listen for the referral triggers. And then the third is that you're gonna ASK to GET. So let's unpack this. Setting the stage happens when you're meeting with the client for the first time, okay? Maybe you are uh, working with clients as a real estate agent, okay? And you're helping them find a new house or you're helping them sell their home or you're a CPA, accountant, financial advisor, whatever business you're in. When you're first meeting with them, what you wanna say is, thanks for meeting with me today. Before you leave, I'd like to ask for your help. As you may know, I'm in the process of expanding my business. And one of the ways I keep my costs down is by working by referral. So I don't have to spend much time or money on advertising. So once I've taken care of you, and hopefully have exceeded your expectations, I'd like to ask your permission to ask you for referrals. Would that be all right? Now, what have we done here? Are we asking them for referrals right now on the spot before we've served them? Absolutely not. What we're doing is we're setting the stage. We're getting them in agreement that in the future, once you've wowed them, then you're going to ask for referrals. I've 
always had 100% of people happy to say yes to this because, again, you're not putting them on the spot. You're saying, if I prove myself, will you share it with others? Once they've, Once you've had that conversation and now you're serving your clients, now it's time to listen for the referral triggers. Well, what are the referral triggers? It's basically an expression of appreciation, right? So thank you so much. You're so good at what you do. Wow, you did a great job on these countertops or on my yard or cleaning my home or whatever it was, right? I couldn't have done it without you. However, they're expressing their appreciation for the work that you've done for them. Wow, you've made me look so great. I feel so young. Whatever that is for you, you're listening for the thank you, okay? The thank you. Once they express that to you, or I should introduce you to, by the way, is another one, right? Listen to them. Sometimes people will tell you, oh, I've got a friend, I've got a neighbor, I've got a coworker that needs this service. As soon as you hear that, and you're listening, right? Because listening is really the key to real success. If you're just thinking about what you're going to say next, and you're not really focused in on them and what they're saying, you're missing out on the opportunity. But once you hear that referral trigger, that expression of appreciation, then you're going to ASK to GET. It's so comfortable at that point. What you say is, I'm so glad you feel that way. I love helping clients like you. And then you express what it is that you do, right? I love helping clients like you paint their house or take care of their tax returns or whatever it is the service that you provide. And then you just ask them, do you know anyone else who is looking for this service? I'd love to connect with them and see if I can help them the way I helped you. Now, what you've done there, because you set the stage early on, then you proved yourself with your service. You listened to those referral triggers. And as soon as they said, thank you, now you're ASK to GET. You're asking to get that referral. And if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place, okay? So you owe it to yourself. You owe it to your business. Once a client has expressed what they do and how they appreciate what you provide, make sure that you're asking them for the referral and you'll get it every time. Tom? Thank you so much. It's incredible the information that you're learning because this is truly how you create a business. You know, the, the idea of the value of a lifetime customer. Very rarely do we really figure that out. But like we mentioned, the three steps right behind me, three ways to grow your business is that you need to have more clients. You need to have more customers. Times, you're going to put the word times in there. Times, having them buy more often. Once a year, twice a year, five times a year, once a month, that increases your volume dramatically. So you're going to put a times right there. Times, how much they're buying. How much they're buying equals the lifetime value of a customer. When you're spending marketing money and media money and any effort you're doing, you need to say, how much is this client going to bring me over the lifetime? You know, if you just look at him as a one-time one sale, here's a guy, I'm selling him something, he's in, he's out, you know, and I don't care about him any longer, then his lifetime value is very small. You sold him one time, you didn't bring him back, you didn't make him happy. So the lifetime is very small, but right behind me right here, you can see if we can get them to buy more often, you need more customers that'll buy more often, that will buy more, that equals the lifetime value. And then you divide that by some of your marketing costs and media costs, and you can say, is it profitable to go out there and do marketing? Like I mentioned in my lifetime, uh, this little hand is either autographed or co-ventured hundreds of millions, you know, probably $500 million worth of gross revenue in, in product services and things like that, a massive amount of money. Uh, and we spent over $100 million in media. And so we had to use that formula. So the key is, once you figure out how to get a client or a customer, is it worth it to spend that money to get it? But the key after that is number two, is to get them to buy more often and buy more. But the biggest part is to do like Walt Disney said. Do what you do so well that people will come back again and again, and they will tell their friends. And then when they tell their friends, 
they come back, you give them a wonderful experience and they will buy again and again and again. That's how you have a business that exponentially goes. If you're totally uh, working with paid media, and this is something that took me decades to finally figure out. When you're working with totally paid media, you're at the whim of the world. Marketing rates change, costs change. You're buying media on Facebook or something else and it gets too expensive. The value of it, the, the effectiveness goes down and it has this massive effect on your business. So that's why if you do do marketing and media, which is great, but then you have to take it to the next level so that people will tell more people. And if more people tell more people who come in and buy your services than leave, then your business will continue to prosper. Right now, uh, Brandon talked about multi-level marketing. Now, I'm a big believer in multi-level marketing. Many of you know that I had heart problems. I had a heart attack when I was 34 years of age. And so I've been taking nutritionals for 30 years. I've been on nutritionals. And I started getting on nutritional products, not because I wanted to make money, but because I had a health problem. And so I've been on these products for many, many years. Then I learned that you can make money doing it. You can make money at amazing things. Network marketing, we've done extremely well because we did a couple things. Number one is, is that we had a good product, a great product. Uh, most network marketing companies have wonderful products. But the second piece is, is that we enrolled a lot of people. And then we gave them a great product, a great product that there were all kinds of ways that they could win. If they just took the product and it had gave them more energy and a better health, that's a win. If they made a little bit of money that paid for the product, that's a win. If they made more money, they could start paying for their car payment or their house payment, that was a win. Or what we did is we took all that money and put it down into the wealth formula. All the money that we made went right to the wealth formula so it could continue to grow. So that's how we did that. And you could do that with any of your businesses. So that's why this is so important of what we do. Now, we're going to say goodbye to our friends from around the world, and we're going to come back for our third segment, and then we're going to open up and do some more Q&A. So thank you so much for being with us. And remember, make a difference. Make it happen. You know, everybody talks about it. Pull the trigger. Do something, even if it's just okay. Do something, even if it's wrong, if you can learn from it. Because remember, every life is precious. Every spirit, every soul. Every person has equal value, and your job is to help them have a better life. This is Tom Painter and Brandon Barnum. Thank you so much, and we're going to come back for our third segment in just a second. Thanks for watching.